A clay pots are perfect for all sorts of plants, but since it's spring, why not give them a pop of color? Yeah, our Sandra Mitchell is in the garden to show us what to do. Good morning, everyone. We're in the garden with our buddy Nick Federoff from Hi. Things Green. Hi, making some flower pots today. Are do. these awesome looking? These That's are so spring. Yeah, they're so spring looking, and they make great little table uh, settings. You know, we're over here at the Castaway in Burbank, and look how gorgeous it's this so place is. It's so green right now. Yeah, so you could take something like this, and you could put it on your table settings. Mm -hmm. You could put about one by each plate or whatever. Or if you want to make a real big one and have a planter like setting going on, that's okay too. But to get it to look like this takes a little ingenuity mm -hmm. but it's going to be so simple now the first thing you have to do of course is have some clay pots you could paint the clay pots first or you can leave them alone doesn't really matter uh, you can't do this to plastic pots because it seems that the plastic doesn't the, the paint uh, doesn't adhere very well to the plastic so okay. clay seems to work really well and and clay is still relatively inexpensive mm -hmm. now I tried this with you you'll find stuff that's on online and they'll tell you to use fingernail polish. Mm -hmm. I tried it, horrible mistake. Oh. Got everywhere. Okay. We're not going to do that. No, we're not <laughs> going to do that. What we're going to do instead is we're just going to use paint that we get at the uh, at the hardware store. And these were just a buck a piece. Nice. These cans. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, of course, you want to have you want to have a couple things ready. We want to have our pots ready that we're okay. going to use, and we want to make sure that we have some type of setup to where when we end up doing this, we can put this. On top, so they can dry properly. A little drying station. Yeah, okay. that's all that that is. Now, when we end up doing this, we're going to try to try to try to not touch the outside as much as possible, oh, okay. and we're actually going to end up dipping this whole thing in water and picking it up. Now, watch what happens. Let's pick a couple of colors of paint over here, okay. and of course, your paint you have to make sure that it's mixed very well. And this is the this is this right here. Watch what happens. Oh, you're spraying it in the water. Right in the water. Okay, go ahead and spray yours now. All right, that's nice. And then we're going to do some more over here. Okay, now we have three different colors that are in there. Go ahead and take your pot and mm -hmm. then try to go like this. And then put your thumb right over here so it doesn't fall down. Okay. And I want you to start from here and kind of scoop up the paint. And, and, and get your hands wet and everything sticking in the ground. There you go. Now pick it up. There you go. You see what you did? That's so pretty. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? So you do the same thing with these other ones over here. You'll take and you'll just put it inside and then come around this way and we're going to take and pick that up. Look at Look those pretty. colors that happen like that. Oh, I just love this. And then we're going to put them down right over here so that they can dry. You know, not long ago we did our little drip pop mm -hmm. pots. That was one style of doing it. And then here's another. So you know what? Let's put add a little more color in here. Okay. We could do that. This stuff will stay suspended. So you know, it's kind of like oil and water. Right. Kind it's of not going to mix. Yeah, not going to mix over here. So put some color over here, and Chris. Go like this. Oh, look at that! You're just blasting that. You're going <laughs> wild, great. I tell you. Okay, so we have a few different colors. Now, if you want to, you can take and do this first to kind of get oh, some yeah. additional colors going on. And then decide where you're going to end up picking that up. And go ahead and, and do that. And, okay. Now, you want, the, you want the tail end of it to be popped up. There you go. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at the way that black is getting picked up in there. That's beautiful. Look at that. You know what? What do you say we do? A real big one, too. Okay. Uh, we'll do some more color. What else do we got here? We already have that. Let's do some of this. Oh, this is good. So, bottom line is over here is that this is a fun thing you could do with the kids. And yeah, do this like this. It's so easy too. It, Just it, clay pots, spray paint, and a tub of water. It really is. Look at that. <gasps> Ooh, Ooh. Look how I picked all that up. So if anybody wants any more information, they can come to my website, thingsgreen.com, or even better still, you can come to me on uh, on Facebook at Things Green and Nick Easter, Federer. Passover, Mother's Day gift. Yeah, Hi. it really does. Look and see, them. look at you could they'll, they'll just be beautiful like that. Now this one I pre-painted white, mm -hmm. and then I did the other colors in there. So it's really good. I like the natural too. Yeah, yeah great yeah, idea. Yeah, yeah. It just really pops out, and it'll just stay forever like that. So that's just yeah. really cool. Let it dry thoroughly.